hello everyone. Uh, very excited to be here and give you an update on Abstra. Um, so let's jump right in. Uh, since uh, we last met, uh, we've made tremendous progress. Uh, really excited about the customers we're working with, uh, the caliber of those customers, Fortune 50, 500, Global 2000. We just announced uh, uh, one more customer, Chevron. Um, and uh, you know, we're working with them as part of their critical uh, infrastructure transformation efforts. And uh, you know, it's, 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 been, it's been really exciting. Uh, to capitalize on the opportunity, we've been growing the team. Uh, we're now north of 100 people uh, across gro globally. We've uh, hired uh, our new VP of sales, Jeff Jones. He's uh, recruiting sales teams uh, across the globe uh, in Asia Pac and EMEA and the US uh, to, to essentially uh, capitalize on th this opportunity. Uh, and we have customers indeed in all of those uh, regions. Um, and you know, what's interesting is that while we focused on the enterprise data center customer, and that's the bulk of our customers, we've also had web scale customers and campus, uh, enterprise campus customers, I think which uh, is an uh, indication that indeed network architectures are standardizing around these leaf spine uh, designs, which is something we predicted and in fact uh, Claire is going to talk more about. And we've got a bunch of awards, you know, here at VMworld uh, with uh, CRN, uh, IDC, and Gartner, and so on. Um, so, but you know, let's let's start with the problem we're we're solving. Right, organizations are embarking on this digital transformation journey, and indeed, digital transformation requires a radical infrastructure transformation. Uh, but instead of talking in abstract terms, let me give you an example. We're working with a brokerage insurance company, for example. And when you think of insurance, you don't think of insurance as, uh, you generally think of insurance as being a traditional business, yet uh, there are tons of business opportunities uh, that require digital transformation. For example, Tesla has this new program where if you actually buy Tesla, you can go in from your seat of your car, purchase your insurance by scrolling on the screen before you even drive your car off the lot. This is a cool initiative, and this particular organization wanted to participate, which meant that they had to build the right technology and set up their infrastructure to support this business initiatives within specific time frames. In fact, they had two choices to deliver on that. Either they had to increase the size of their team tenfold, or they had to dramatically transform their infrastructures, which meant for them adopting powerful automation. So that's number one, uh, automating, automating, automating. Second, uh, distributing their data centers so that they're closer to their end users. Third, adopting cloud, essentially transforming their data centers to provide a cloud experience and also having the ability to take advantage of public cloud offerings. And once, once they looked at all these requirements, it was clear to them that they were going to have a heterogeneous infrastructure and that they had to uh, you leverage best-of-breed technologies from multiple vendors, therefore becoming multi-vendor. Multi uh, this is one example, but we're seeing this consistently across these Fortune 50, Fortune 500, Global 2000 companies. And if you think of this infrastructure transformation, at the core of it is what I call this service layer. Essentially, it's this... Uh, service layers, it's a software layer that's abstracting and automating your infrastructure underneath as one system across the entire life cycles of, of those services, not just day zero, day zero, day one, day two plus, and across all areas of services that the infrastructure needs to deliver to the business layer. And so instead of thinking of infrastructure as a bunch of boxes, you know, one has to think of the system and the services that the infrastructure has to deliver. And this needs to be multi-workload because these business applications are going to require multiple workloads. We've seen you know, VMware, for example, embrace Kubernetes. We have KVM, uh, you know, VMware, you know, traditional VMware workloads. Multi-cloud, we talked about that. The, the, the requirement for this layer to have, a unified, uh, to have a unified layer across all these different clouds and multi-domain. And as you're distributing data centers, this multi-domain aspect becomes really critical. And so if you think of this software and this service layer is really critical, yet what we see is that a lot of organizations don't start there. Rather, they start with choosing their hardware. In fact, they start by partnering with one specific device vendor 
and they make that choice first, and then all other choices are derived from that first choice, including you know, the software that this particular vendor delivers or, 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 or offers. And if you think of it, taking this approach restricts you dramatically, right? Because then, essentially, you're constrained to whatever software is offered by that particular vendor. May not be the best of breed software. What you need is to figure out that layer first, yet you're just restricting yourself from the get-go. And of course, then you're locked in not only into that software, but into the, that vertically integrated stack, hardware and software. So you, it becomes very hard to change your hardware and becomes really hard to deviate from that software choice that you've made. And so, uh, no, it, it's, no, it's no surprise then that the, these organizations are experiencing high costs, you know, uh, infrastructures which reliability are lower than what they would like, and they're slow at delivering on these business, business initiatives. Rather, what we think organizations should do, and we're seeing this trend, in fact, over the last few years, we've seen this trend where organizations, it's kind of that brokerage firm, which I, or insurance brokerage organization, which I talked about earlier on, they're taking a different approach. They're, we call it a software first approach, which is first defining this service layer. Uh, you do that first, you ensure that that service layer uh, delivers on your requirements, and once you do that, then of course, hardware is important and you choose you know, the hardware that meets your specific needs. But you do this in a, uh, decoupled, in a decoupled way. And as of Abstra, where we fit in is that we were founded in 2014 to deliver on this service layer specifically for networking. Networking is a critical component of the service layer. And so Abstra, by pioneering intent-based networking, essentially what we are delivering is powerful automation and abstraction of network services across the entire life cycle. Day zero, day one, day two plus, and across all areas of intent, including connectivity, L2, L3, security, compliance, performance. And from the get-go, and we've talked about that before, our goal is to deliver on self-operation, a self-healing infrastructure, and we've published this taxonomy, a 10-based networking taxonomy, to describe what is required in order to deliver on this self-operation. Essentially, a distributed data store a gra with, which, with, with a graph representation of the state that essentially captures not only the state in your infrastructure in your intent, but also all of the relationships so that now you can essentially run hundreds of tests continuously to validate that your infrastructure delivers on your intent. And then if you see deviations, have the ability to measure impact. For example, this application or this workload is no longer functioning well. And have the ability critically to root cause because you cannot heal what you cannot root cause. So root causing the, the, the problem and uh, as a result have the ability to self heal. And uh, with AOS 3.1, we have many more examples in the, in the product of these remediation healing uh, 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 functions uh, across a, a variety of use cases. For example, we have this really cool integration uh, with NSX, which my colleagues Claire and Rags will get into more details of, where we show how we have the ability to measure impact, root cause, and auto-remediate problems. Uh, in, in those networks, in delivering on those network services. And so, um, before I hand it to Claire and, uh, and Rags, uh, just one last slide. Um, of course, we're, when our customers uh, deploy Abstra, they're very interested in measuring the ROI of their investment. And these are actual numbers we're getting from our customers uh, themselves. And uh, we're really excited about them, so I wanted to share them. One is, you know, what is the impact of intent-based networking and this power automation, the this powerful automation on OPEX? And this is measured in terms of number of man hours uh, that are required to deliver a specific task. For example, deploying a new pod or a new rack. And essentially, they've compared what they did before without Abstra and then how are they doing it with Abstra. And then what they found is an 83% improvement in, their, in, the, in the number of man hours. Uh, on the right here with application reliability, a similar thing with mean time to resolution. Essentially, you know, when a hardware, piece of hardware fails or a transceiver fails, how long does it take them to troubleshoot the issue and then to resolve that issue? Again, measured in the number of man hours. And essentially what they found is a 70% improvement. And the third 
is uh, infrastructure agility. None of these should be surprising. In the case of infrastructure agility, extending a VLAN or a virtual network, a task that in the past may have taken a week or two weeks, today you can do in minutes. Replacing a switch, similar. And so infrastructure agility improvements of 99%. So that's what we predicted, and that's why you know, we wake up every morning, and it's really exciting to see that our customers are indeed seeing these benefits.